Hi, uh, my name is Mustan Sir, and today I'll be pitching uh, a labor service that helps connect labor with potential employers. Will the slides go very forward? I didn't do this. Anyway, uh, so I'm pitching a labor service that helps you connect with labor workers. If you have ever lived in a home, you know the pain of finding a labor worker. Particularly in South Asia, they're really hard species to find because you just cannot find them. So what we do is uh, we bring them to social media for the very reason, even if you're watching a movie today, you go to something like imdb.com and you see what people think about that movie. How do they rate it? So we bring all the labor onto social media without them needing to know any technology at all. So we simply connect labor with employers. Let me show you how it works. Let's say you needed an electrician to fix your light bulb. You open our app, you say, I need an electrician. You click go, it gives you a list of all the electricians near you. Of course, uh, you can change the city and find it for anywhere else. It doesn't stop here. These labor are peer rated by someone like you. So they have someone has one star, two star, or five stars, depending on how good they performed. It doesn't stop here yet as well, because we also have a 10 second video pitch where labor say, in Urdu we say, Nam Kam Tajarba. They say, hey, my name is David. I've been doing, uh, I've been an electrician for the last 20 years. So you can judge them well. So this is how it works. We get very powerful data. We know where they come from, where they are based, and uh, which are the areas they want to work on. This is an example of what we have been collecting. We have some competitors, of course. Uh, we have Kamada Pakistan, Odd Job, but none of them is exactly doing the way we do it. We connect instantly. Tractions, everybody asks about them. Uh, well, we have more than, we have hundreds of volunteers working with us who go into the field and register labor for free. Uh, we have more than 1,000 labor in the system. We have applicants from India, Nepal, who want to help us register more labor. Because it's going to be a community thing which they are going to build in time. Profits. Uh, well, we uh, don't need a lot of money. We more or less need 100,000 per city wherever we deploy. Uh, we estimate we can generate up to 50,000 US dollars per year for a very realistic labor count of 30,000 per year. And that's about it. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, can, you go back, can you go back one slide? Sorry, no, I guess not. <laughs> I was just, just gonna ask a quick go one. Uh, just a quick question, so, yeah, so when you, and before that, Slide comes up. Okay, it's up now. Okay. Um, just a quick question. So, how are you, first of all, uh, getting laborers in India or, or Pakistan to sign up for this? Because they don't have computers. Uh, yes, so we have several ways of doing this. For example, we have the local database of Nadra, that is the electronic uh, digital ID of Pakistan on board. So, if anybody sends us an SMS message with their NIC, we can extract all the data about them their home, their address, their names, and their photo. So, that's one way. We also do labor drives. So our people are representatives. That is generally the people at large, young volunteers, students, university people. They go into the field and they register labor in the field. So they say, hi, what is your name? They record their video for 10 seconds. And they sync it. And it's already in our system. So how do you, how do you control your revenue then when you're talking you know, with laborers who typically pay with cash or take cash only? You see, at this point, we, we have several ways of making money. So once the labor really re, are really hungry to find a job, they just have to send us one rupee SMS and they say, feature me. You know, just like a dating site, you can be featured. We can generate money through that. We can generate money through advertisements. There are 60 million labor we are talking about here. So it's a game changer if it works. So basically, you're not taking money from the labor itself? No. Got it. Because okay. they are too poor. Okay. So can you give an example of what a common task is that you would assign to a laborer? Sorry, I can't hear Can you give me a, an example of what is a common task that you would assign to a laborer? Find an electrician. You see, if you want to change this light bulb, okay. it's very hard to find them. If, if you have lived in India or Pakistan, you would know. You just don't find them. It's so hard. Okay. They say, oh, we'll come right now, but they don't show up for another five days. So it true. happens all the time. It's true. He's, he's telling the truth so, on that one. So this is the electrician that you're talking about, or this is someone who finds the electrician? It's gen it's generally all the labor like this. Labor are really not dependable. So just like random job. They're totally Any not dependable. 
Our particular it's, it's, it's a fact. It's true. Yes. yes. Okay. Our first focus is daily wage labor workers. It works for upstream anyway. It's a very simple model. You're, you're solving a bigger problem if you can make them more dependable. So. Yep. So they're rated. So it's kind of solved through community. Yeah. Crowdsourcing. Okay. And cool. where are you guys currently at? I wasn't sure I understood uh, where we, you're at. Uh, we are ready to launch the app. We just want to have sufficient number of labor in the system before we do it. Okay, so you haven't launched yet? We have about 1,000. Uh, no, we haven't launched the search app where users like you can find them. We intend to do this in two weeks from now. So are you generating revenue currently? Uh, no, we are not because people can't search us. But we will. As, okay. I, as I said, if we have 30,000 labor, we can generate a lot of revenue. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.